Hello friends, I'm Smita Karti from the blog Smiling Colors. Today I'm sharing a closer look at the Tombow Furunosuke pens. So the pastel colors were just introduced today. There are six to this pack and these are all soft, flexible brush tip pens. These are smaller brush pens. They're great to use for lettering small coats in your bullet journal. And I also like that all of the pens come with the name and the color on top of them. The brush tip, as I said, are smaller in size. So let me letter them and show you how they look. And the brush tip is flexible, which means if you press down, you get this thicker line and if you press lightly, you get a thin line. That's the reason why brush lettering is so much fun. You can create these thinner and thicker lines just by varying the pressure that you're applying to the paper. Tombow already has many other colors of these Futunosuke pens. They have a rainbow color set and they also have the black and gray. These are the new pastel colors that are so soft and very spring-esque. I love the color palette that they've chosen for this. I'm quickly just going to letter the letters A to Z and show you. You can use any kind of techniques you want with the brush pens. You can use it for hand lettering. You can also use it for illustrating. They're super fun to use. So here's how the other pen colors are. This is the color soft pink. This is called lavender, light green, pale yellow, and the last color is white. Of course, this is not going to show up on white paper, so I pulled out some blue cardstock that I bought at Michael's. This is just regular cardstock, but it has a nice smooth finish. So when I letter with the pen, you'll actually see it looks kind of transparent on top of the darker cardstock. That's because the ink color becomes more opaque as the ink dries. So you just want to give it a few seconds so that it dries on the paper, and you can already see how it's visible on top of the darker colored cardstock. Here's a swatch of the other colors on top of the dark cardstock. With these pens, you literally have to give it a few seconds and watch the ink dry. It's so fascinating. It's just a lot of fun to watch the ink appear again on top of the dark cardstock. I also swatched these same colors on top of craft cardstock. I love the brown papered look and you can see that all of these colors show up on that paper as well. So from that same notepad I had a darker green color paper and here you can see how darker the ink shows. What I've done here is actually layered the ink. So with one layer of color you can see how opaque it looks. You can layer on top to create a second layer and a third layer. So the more layers you apply the color gets more intensified and the ink won't bleed through most papers. So let's try out these pens on some black paper. These are the Strathmore Artist Style. They have a nice black paper and a smooth finish. So I'm just gonna write the word thankful on top of it. And then to make the word pop on top of the black paper, I went over my letters and traced them carefully. And you can see how it appears darker as the ink dries. Then I just doodle some leaves and berries around it with all the other colors and the ink takes its time to show up on the paper and it's so much fun to draw on top of black paper with these colors. And here is how my final illustration turned out. I just layered one layer of color for the leaves and doodles. I didn't go back and layer more color. You can always do that and create a richer color on top of darker cardstock. Always remember that these pens can layer nicely to create a more rich look on top of darker cardstocks. Or if you're using a white paper, they have this beautiful pastel color. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about these pens. I'd love to chat more and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, happy crafting!